so today is uh, Wednesday, I think. I don't know. I forget the day. Tuesday or Wednesday. And I just rolled up to Chatsworth. Uh, there is, this is the Amtrak station here. It's like a metro station as well. I'm looking, I'm doing a location scout for a scene that I'm going to shoot. And uh, I've got my camera here. And yeah, I'm just gonna kind of do um, lighting test and just location, you know, checking it out. Uh, looks pretty empty from what I can see now, but you know, that's something else I'm gonna consider, like uh, the foot traffic, all that. And if I can get away with shooting here. So yeah, um, that's it for right now. Gonna go home after this and do some lines, have some dinner, and uh, yep, prep some more for my workshop on Thursday. So, I'm uh, still at Chatsworth here. Just finished up what I wanted to do. A um, couple thoughts, what I'm thinking. Um, I found a particular location here that I think will work for our over-the-shoulder scene uh, with some nice like diagonals happening in the background but the time that I've chosen so I chose a four to six slot thinking that uh, the sunlight would help but uh, it's too bright it is too bright for uh, the balancing of my shot in my exposure. So um, basically what's happening is my background is getting blown out and for me to get the right exposure on the actor, which is me, I'm a pretty good gauge for exposure because I'm, you know, like a little darker. So if I can find an exposure that works on me where I can see my face clearly and then the background isn't too uh, washed out, it'll work with someone who is lighter than me. And Emily is uh, much lighter, fairer skinned than I am, so uh, it should work fine. But essentially what I'm getting at is I'm gonna wanna come here later. Probably I'm thinking to actually start at 6 p.m. because uh, judging by where the sun is right now, it's uh, just about, let me see, I think it was 4.30, maybe 5. So another hour until it gets closer to the horizon. So I think, yeah, 5.30, 6 o'clock is going to be a better time where I can get a much more even exposure from the foreground to the background, uh, actor to environment. And that's what I'm looking for. That's the cinematographer brain happening. I think if I really didn't care too much, what I got today would work, but I feel like the overexposed background is a little distracting. And there is some nice stuff happening in the background and I wanna capture that environment to uh, create a little bit more depth in the scene. And um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So. I'm gonna text Emily now and see if she will be able to do a later time the day of the shoot. So that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm thinking. And yeah, I'm gonna head home now. So today is Wednesday, the 23rd of September. A uh, pretty good day today for myself. Uh, Nicole was feeling a little ill earlier. So she called out of school, or called out of virtual school. Um, but yeah, she's feeling better now. Anyway, uh, I got a lot of stuff done with my program, and I'm feeling really good about it. I basically finished the entire first section of it, and I'm calling it phase one. Uh, there are three phases, so finished phase one and uh, it's all exported to like PDFs and uh, that sort of thing. I sent it to my brother for him to go over, you know, give me some feedback, revisions, that sort of thing. 
Um, but I, yeah, I feel pretty good about what I put down uh, in the program and how I was able to articulate things. So very good writing practice for me and also just sort of uh, um, putting my own sort of thoughts about different processes on the page. Uh, so yeah, that was cool. I'm really happy about that. And I'm going to start doing, uh, phase two soon. I don't know when yet. Soon. I'm going to start it. It's just, uh, I have a lot of research to do for phase two. It's more about, uh, technical stuff. So breathing techniques and vocal techniques and movement and all that stuff. And what I'm going to include is a lot of stuff that I do on my own. But I really need to be able to articulate a, a lot about what it is that I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of research and it's going to take me some time to do all that. So, yeah, um, that's that. But I uh, also worked on, I've been working on my lines for my workshop. My workshop is tomorrow. So that's cool. I'm going to be working with Mike Page. Uh, CSA casting director and uh, yeah I've never worked with him or met him I've never auditioned for him I don't think I gotta check my um, audition log but yeah basically I'm doing it it's a two-day workshop but it's a uh, one day one day this week and one day next week so yeah I'm doing this scene from eyes wide shut eyes wide shut um, and I'm excited to do it I feel good about the scene I'm completely off book and I uh, feel good about the choices that I've been making and I'm still working on some of the choices I will work more on this scene tomorrow in the morning before I uh, go into the class so looking forward to that and then on Friday I have um, my zoom reading of Anthony's play so that's cool too yeah that's it for now I guess I will record some of my rehearsal tomorrow my warm-up and some of the zoom and then um, same thing I'll do a warm-up and rehearsal uh, the morning of my uh, reading for Anthony's play I also spoke to Max today, and we're planning to do a little writing session uh, over FaceTime or something uh, Friday in the morning. So, yeah, he's back east right now, so uh, we're going to coordinate with time because, uh, yeah, you know how that works. That's it. Good morning. It is September 24th. I am, I've been up for a while, I did my morning routine, my normal routine, uh, breath work, journaling, uh, movement, and uh, Nicole went off to work, she actually went to the school today, uh, she's doing me a solid so that I could have the apartment to do my Zoom class for uh, this workshop, so I'm getting ready for the workshop now. I'm going to do a abbreviated version of a um, warm up, but you know, warm ups aren't necessarily meant to take forever. So I'm going to do some breathing, some vocal warm up, um, articulation exercises, and then I will do some movement, some stretching, get in my body a little bit. And as I'm doing that, I will start to uh, go over my lines and then I'll jump straight to the script and make some, uh, some choices based off of how I'm feeling today. I think that's uh, important, you know, whatever work I've done in the uh, past week or two on this script, of course it will serve me now and it will sort of be built into my subconscious. But uh, I don't want to rely on or try to completely replicate uh, something that I've already done because that is not true to who I am in this moment. Uh, I think that's something important for actors to consider that your character is 
somebody new every day. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And don't get me wrong, yes, you do need to replicate actions and emotional values. But at the same time, you are in a different place in a different time. So you have to consider that. There might be a micro adjustment that you are, aren't even aware of that comes, that plays better on that day. So, uh, because it's more truthful to you and your character that day. Something to consider, something to consider. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to run through some of these exercises now, do my thing, get ready for the class, and then jump into the class. I got it. 
resume and you know maybe the actor doesn't have a lot of established comedy credits at that time to broaden our reach. Our playwrights and actors um, are in Mexico, Brazil, Australia, Guam, and all over the country from coast to coast. Proof that we are all indeed connected, despite our superficial differences. We are grateful to all of the writers and actors who have given their time for free and hope our next production will be at a site-specific location once the pandemic has passed uh, here in LA. Uh, your donations are welcome and necessary to help Scribe Stages keep producing fresh, topical, and inclusive work. Please consider donating via PayPal on our website at scribestages.com and follow us on social media. And with that, we hope you enjoy the reading. Yeah. 
Check, 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 check. One, two, one, two.
off the top of the dome right now, it's Big T style. Here we go again, mic check, one, two. Who wants to grab it next? I don't know, maybe you. Steven's over there rolling up another bleasy. Can we kick it back right now? We take it easy. Yeah, he does it slow, smooth, dude, he keeps it cheesy. Like he's wrapped, macaroni and cheese, whatever, please believe me. If we keep rhyming, we gon' have a good time. If we keep vibing, yo, it's all a good time. Everybody here is trying to have a good time. I can't even spit a good line. Bella. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. I rip when I rhyme. I rhyme when I rip. This is the way Dylan spit.